Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install and configure SQL Server 2016 Master Data Services, also known as MDS. Before we get into installation and configuration, I'm going to give you a quick overview of what Master Data Services do for us. It helps you to manage a master set of organization data. Your organization may be getting the data from different sources. Instead of managing uh, different sources data separately, you can create one master set of that data and work on that and can that can be distributed later on um, with the different um, folks in your organization how you do that basically you create uh, models models are uh, nothing but similar set of data uh, with the help of uh, mds and it has entities it has member of those entities but that is the development side of mds we will not be covering development side of mds in this video but we will put different videos that will cover all that development side of MDS. Uh, it also help you to manage and distribute specific uh, data set instead of um, uh, sending all the data to somebody who works in sale and interested in just sales data. You can send that sales data specific set of data to that person to take a look. Uh, MDS also helps to get the updated data from production and you can push that data, you can work on that data and then you can push that data to your different environments such as UAT, um, test or development. Let's talk about the uh, prerequisite side of uh, MDS. As far as installation goes, it doesn't require much. It requires uh, MS Visual Studio 2010 redistributables and .NET Framework 4.0. Probably these two prerequisites are already installed on your server if you have installed any other feature uh, or service um, that in SQL Server 2016. Uh, but configuration side, as you can see, it's a pretty long list. Uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we install the row web ser server IIS and all these features. Otherwise, MDS might have an issue. So let's get into installation first. It is going to be really quick and then we'll get into the configuration. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add these features as well. I haven't added that. I just saved that for this video. So if you already installed it, you can skip that part of the video and go directly to the configuration. Here's my server where I'm going to install master data service. This is my installation media. All you need to do is right click on, sys, uh, on setup and click on run as admin and this landing page will appear and I'm going to install on my existing installation. So click on SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. Click next. As I said that you have an option to install MDS as a separate feature of SQL Server 2016, but I'm going to add it in my existing SQL Server installation, which is right here, MS SQL Server. I'm going to click Next. These are the uh, services and feature already installed on my uh, server but I'm interested to install shared feature called master data services right here. I'm going to select that. You can see that uh, the installation prerequisites are right here and they are already installed in my case. So I'm going to click next. This is the summary what you're going to install. I'm just going to click on install and it will start installation. I'll pause the video while this installation is going on. Once succeeded, then we'll go and uh, get into adding the feature that requires before the configuration of MDS. All right, as you can see that uh, master data services uh, installation is completed successfully. Let's close this. Now, before we get into configuration, make sure that uh, these prerequisites are met and uh, we'll be installing these prerequisites. We'll be adding uh, the, these um, web ser server IIS. 
uh, role and features onto our windows before we get into installation. But let me show you that if, if you get into the configuration prior to installing all those prerequisites, what error do you get? So let me search for Master Data Services Configuration Manager. I'm going to right click and run as admin. Click yes. Right here. This is what I wanted you to see. Before creating MDS web application, you must correct the following errors. What it's saying is that um, the IIS is not installed on this server. So before we proceed in our configuration, we need to install that first. Let me show you how to do that. If you have Windows uh, 2012, you need to click on Server Manager, click on Add Roles and Features, click Next. And this is role-based or feature-based installation. Click Next. This is my server where I'm going to install those uh, roles and features. Click Next. And we're interested in Web Server IIS. Click Add Features. Click Next. Click Next, and Next screen will bring up all the features that we're interested. Click Next. As you can see that uh, some of the features are already pre-selected, but you can go back to the list and add what's missing here. The common HTTP, let, let's go back for a second. So right here, I put that common HTTP feature, and this is what we need. So if we're missing something, we'll be adding that in our adding feature right here. So we are missing right here request monitor. So I'll select that. In performance, we're missing dynamic content compression. I'll select that. Security, let me take a look again. Request filtering and Windows authorization. Actually, it's Windows authentication, not authorization. Application development, we need to install .NET extensibility 3.5. Click on add features and click on 4.5 as well. We need these two as well. In management tool, we need IIS management console and we're good. Click next. You have an option to click restart the destination server automatically if required. I won't click that, but um, you, you can if you don't have to do anything else before you restart your computer. Click Install. This installation is going to take some time. I'll be pausing the video. Once these features are added, then we'll get into the configuration. All right, as you can see, all the roles and features are installed successfully. Let's close this. And let's take a look on the notification. It says installation succeeded on this server. That's good. We'll close this. And now we'll populate uh, the MDS configuration manager. SQL Server 2016 Master Data Services Configuration Manager. Right click and run as admin and see if we get any other error. All right, this error is because I missed a few prerequisites. As you can see right here, I pulled that up for you. The, these are not included in my um, front page where I put the prerequisite list. I went ahead and compared with Microsoft and turned out that um, I missed HTTP activation. This is required. Uh, TCP port sharing, uh, that is already installed, uh, but I'm gonna show you where it is. 
and Windows Process Activation Services. These all three were missed too. So let's go ahead and install these and see if we can um, clear this error. Click Next. And click on .NET Framework 3.5 Features. Expand that. And here it is, HTTP Activation. Add these two. And then we will go into .NET Framework 4.5 and see if we're missing right here. HTTP activation. And TCP port sharing right here is already installed. Let's see if we're missing any other. We will go to Windows Process Activation Service. Here's the Windows Process Activation Service. Let's expand that. And all three are selected. Click Next and click Install. All right, our missing prerequisites are installed. I'm going to close this and I'll close this, this too and open. MDS Configuration Manager again. Right click, run as admin, and see if we've gotten away from that error. All right, so now all the prerequisites are confirmed. We can start our configuration. Our next step is to configure our database. Click on that. Since we haven't created the database, we'll be first completing this, create the database. Click on Create Database. Click Next. And provide your SQL Server where you want to have this MDS database. In my case, it's Tech Brothers SQL. Authentication type, this is the, this is the user that'll connect to the database. In my case, I'm using the current user integrated security if you have a different user you can provide that here you need to test connection to make sure that uh, we connect to the database this user right here needs to have permission to create the database in your sql server class uh, click next i mean test connection click ok click next and here is the database name that you can provide i want to say mds underscore demo now the collation right here, if your requirements are different than default collation of your SQL Server, then you need to uncheck this and check one of these options that you have. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on SQL Server default collation and click next. So this is the super user. This is the user that will be super user on your MDS. As you can see right here, specify the Windows account of a user that will be automatically granted full access to all the models. This will also be able to admin uh, the uh, MDS site. You can configure only one account with this permission. In my case, this is the account that I'm gonna use. If you have a different account that you want to uh, have that super user on MDS site or MDS uh, altogether, you can provide that here. Click Next. This is the summary. Click Next. And it'll go ahead and create that database. everything is successful click finish as you can see that uh, the system setting are populated after we created the database and it has picked up right here master data service database MDS demo in my case and master data service version that is 2016 let's go all the way down 
everything I'm just gonna leave everything right here default if you need to create the mail uh, profile you need to create it now here I don't want to create any mail profile this is just a demo so if your requirement is in production that you need to create the uh, profile for database mail profile you can create it here or you can provide the information right here let's click on web configuration now you have an option right here that you can create a new website or you can create a default website if you click on default website you will see right here this website has no master uh, data services application either create an application or create a new site or select an existing site so um, we'll, I'll be choosing the default website you have an option to create a new website if there's other website uh, already in use then you need to create a new website I'm gonna click on default website and create the application this is the root the alias is MDS and this is the username in order to avoid the errors later on you should uh, use the same username the super user I was talking about right here and confirm the password you can use uh, the other accounts that account will be the application pool account so in my case it's tech brothers slash cluster admin click OK and our web, web application is added now next thing is uh, the application with the database click select and we're gonna connect with the same database and this is our master database service database click OK and click apply now you have an option to launch the web application that we just created um, and I'm going to do that to see that if everything all the configuration that we did with MDS if it works fine this may not work on your server based on the security of your Internet Explorer you can take this URL and uh, test it from your client side All right, I'm going to provide the username to connect to our website. Click OK. And here is the page for our SQL Server 2016 master data services right here getting started with the 2016 looks like all the configuration that we did it worked fine click on open the master data service homepage and here it is everything looks fine that's it for um, master data services installation and configuration and I hope it helps